Hello, my beautiful plant friends. So today I'm back at you with yet again another video. Today I'm going to take a little trip over to the Dollar General. I'd like to see what they have for their spring and summer gardening supplies. I don't really have anything in particular that I'm looking for, but if I see something that I could use, then of course I'll pick it up. But anyway, I figured since I'm gonna be out and about, I'll take you along with me. So I'll see you there. Okay, here we be. Okay guys, it looks like they have their plant hangers that they have every year. Those come in handy. Plant clips for your plants. You have some tray liners and some teeny tiny terracotta pots for really small cuttings. These are super cute little LED string lights. Looks like they are butterflies, adorable. Some gardening gloves. Expanding soil. So it looks like this is moss. I don't think I've ever seen this here before. Here's some gardening fencing. If you're looking for any of that. Watering stakes. Plant labels. I think maybe I'll grab another one of these. I do have some at home. Macrame plant hangers. More gloves. Here are the hooks that I purchased last year, the smaller ones. The larger ones are also available. A little bit of home decor. Some, let me see, I think these are four inch pots. Little starter pots. These always come in handy. I have some of these from last year left over. Some LED lights for your yard. I love these little planters. I use these for potting up cuttings like Tradescantia that are super easy. I start new pots in those. Little shepherd's hooks. Hangers for your pots. These are awesome. I bought a couple of these last year. Still haven't opened them yet. When you use them quite often, they do become dull. I'm sure you could probably sharpen them up if need be, but it's always nice to have new ones available as well. Some gardening shovels, gardening tools, little fairy garden figurines, trellises. These could come in handy for a buck or a little over a buck. Can't beat that. And floral arrangements. More pots. I may get a couple of these. I do like mine to be a little bit on the 
neutral side. <clears throat> there was actually somebody walking right by me, so I kind of scooted out of their way real quick. Okay. get a gray one and a tan one along with my name tags. Here we have some larger little fairy garden figurines. Those are cute. I missed these. Some hanging baskets that you can put Coco Core liners in. Those are a decent deal for a buck, can't beat that. Wind twisters. I always think these look pretty cool. Larger hooks for the yard. Decided to take a little beeline to the crafting area. And here are some marbles that you can top dress your soil with. Stones. Sand. And then there are also some of these faux little succulents if you're into that. some vases. I believe these are plastic. Yes, they are. Plastic vases. Little globes for terrariums. Put a little string or some type of hanger on those. Suspend them in the air. That'd be cute. Little cloches, domes. And more vases for your propagations. That colored glass is pretty, that purple, I like that. So that is what my local Dollar Tree has in stock. In the beginning of the video, I made a mistake and said that it was the Dollar General. It is actually the Dollar Tree. So I ended up picking up two pots, two of the larger pots, the tan one, and the gray one, and I picked up a, another pack of the name tags. So that's really all I need for now. So definitely worth the trip, worth taking a trip to your local Dollar Tree to see what they have in their spring and summer garden area. You might find some things that you can use as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you're liking the content of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here along with us. Take care guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.